Alright, so yeah, I guess we don't we'll not be using any camera today. <laughs> so I guess this is gonna be a short uh, a short lesson na lang today. We'll go directly to our charts and our discussion. Today we're gonna be talking about um the title for today is the cup and handle. Um maybe I'm gonna make a different video about this because of the technical issues. Uh but the cup and handle pattern po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Right? So, and So, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Pasensya na nawala yung mga comments kanina. Can you please post your comments again? Because I had to restart the stream. Right? Um, I'll go directly to uh, the discussion. Um, siguro, I'll ask for your, uh, I'll ask for your patience. We'll just continue the cup and handle pattern lesson tomorrow. And So, we'll just talk about the cup and handle les um, lesson tomorrow. What we're gonna do now is we'll go directly to our uh, recommendations. Uh, I have to fix the issues. This is the problem with live, talaga. So yon. Um, yon. Um, good morning, uh, STV Trader. Um, nakadretso na ako ka STV Trader because I am not seeing the ano. Uh, hindi ko po nakikita yung mga uh, na naputol yung comments kanina. So pasensya if you cannot see my ano my my uh, my, my my face, yeah. But I hope you can hear me. I think you can hear me, naman. I mean, yeah. So yeah, STV Trader. Good, good morning, ISM, ATN, and IRC. I'll write these down if you have any requests, guys. Again, we're gonna, you're just gonna talk about cup, cup and handle tomorrow. Um, kasi hindi ako comfortable na uh, wala yung camera. So I wanna make this discussion really, uh, really uh, clear. So yeah, um, we'll just talk about this tomorrow. Um, we're gonna be talking about the this uh the picks that I have today and your requests. So ayon unahin ko si uh, STV Trader. Um, request niya is ISM ATN. Right, Jay Guevara. Good morning, sir. IS ISM EW po. Thank you. Right, let's write these down. If you have any requests, any thing you wanna talk about, any question, um, any greetings, lagay niyo po sa comments so that we can talk about it. Junker Del Rosario, good morning. CPG, SMC, okay ba mag-add? 148 ang average ko. Kay SMC, dapat doon kayo nag-add sa baba pa. Right, um, I'm gonna show the, ano, the chart of SMC, right? We recommended SMC at this area. Um, you are, you wanna add, okay, so 148 ang ano mo, this is not a good ad, right? This is anytime soon. This is gonna pull back, so it's not wise to add at this area right here. So please, wag po ay mga add yan. That's gonna be wrong trading. Just wait for it to do a pullback. It should pull back anytime soon. Sobrang lakas na ng galaw. Congratulations. Thank you sa mga um, sumunod, right? SMC. Congratulations. Sala kaya na ng panalo nyo. Eh, nakabawit na yung mga naipit. Sadly, ang mga nagbenta dito, this is what happens to newbies talaga, right? If you don't have a right uh, if you have the don't if you don't have the right plan, nagbenta ang mga tao dito and then umakyat. So ayun, um this is the newbie's curse. You don't really know what's happening. So uh you don't really know what to do. So that's why we are here to guide you. So if you have any ano, if you have any newbie friends, um guide them to the daily grind at least. Maturo natin sa kanila when is where is the proper entry. We entered SMC here. Congratulations sa mga nanalo. So right now, if you want to buy more, always the buy more area should be a pullback. So right now wala po tayong pullback. Let me just load my chart layout. Uh Lloyd Bazaar. Let me go full screen. SMC, let's go for SMC. Right, so SMC right now, that's not a good area to buy more, right? Do not buy more while it's going up. Huwag po kayo manghihina yung, oy, liit lang ang binili ko dito, kaya magdadagdag ako dyan. Pag nagdagdag kayo dyan at bumagsak yan, tatabla, mawawala ang gains ninyo. It's good to sell half if you can. And then, uh, if ever may may makita yung weakness, just sell half, right? weakness, ang ganda ng volume. Baka today, mag-pull back ito. Right? Because we're, we're hitting resistance levels. Marapit na tayo sa resistance. So, it might pull back and then when it bounces, that is where you add more. Right? And then, if you add more, use MA20 as your support just in case hindi na siya magtuloy-tuloy ang bounce. You cut loss here. At least, nag-gain kayo dito. Um, if you buy more here and cut loss here, maliit lang ang loss nyo. Overall, your trade will be gaining if ever magdadagdag man kayo. Right? So, please do not add at the top. Right, wag po kayo maiinggit dyan. Um, Joel Garis, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning then Sems. Good morning, Coach. ATN and food, please. ATN and food. Earth is down. Now, si ATN, antayin lang natin mag, ano, mag, 
mag-breakout sa ATN, right? Uh, did recommend ATN doon sa baba. ATN, right? So, ATN, we did recommend ATN here. Uh, actually, at MA20 bounce, ni recommend natin sa ATN. And it's already growing. Uh, we are at resistance levels. Muntik ng mag-high na naman si ATN. Congratulations, congratulations po sa mga pumasok kay ATN. I kept telling you, just buy more and buy more and buy more. If ever, bumili lang kayo marami dyan. Ang yaman yun na ngayon. <laughs> right? So anyways, um, let's just wait for ATN to break out. Muntik na siya mag-break out yesterday, but really hard to get into these kinds of position. Kasi pag pumasok kayo dyan at hindi pa nag-break out, baka bumagsak and goes to MA20. Buti if mag-bounce MA20, paano pag hindi, di ba? So, that's a very bad position to get into. Wait for it to do a pullback and bounce or wait for it to do a breakout for ATN. Um, that's why I'm not recommending ATN for today. Wag po kayo may ingit dyan sa taas, please. When people are celebrating, again, when people are celebrating, that's a sell signal. Right, Erwin Ronquillo, good morning po, Sir Lloyd. Good morning then. R. Jill Mendoza, good morning, Sir Lloyd. And Laika, ISM and P. Gold, please. Uh, thanks, sir. All right, so I'll write these down. Si ISM and P. Gold. ISM is my, in my recommendations today. Ang ganda ng bounce yesterday. Justin Salvador, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Congrats sa PHA holders. Pating, patingin ng tags, tsaka win, sir. Bet ko ngayon. Tags is in my recommendations for today. Si win, tingnan natin. O nga pala, win, I amin mean, sa perk. Ano yun? Hindi sa perk. Si uh, PHA. Ayan. Um, let me let me open my ano. Um, right Si sa mga picks natin. Right? Sa mga picks natin, si ano na lang ang hindi gumagalaw. Uh, si Or na lang. Right? Si Or. I'm still, andito ako kay Or. Hindi ako nag-average down kay Or, sadly. But, ayan. Um... Tawag dyan. Uh, this is my mock port. And um, I just put uh, uh, an amount here para at least meron akong public port if needed. Um, PHA, congratulations. Nag-sealing kahapon and I think it's gonna be doing good again today. So, congratulations sa may mga PHA dyan. Si Tugs, andyan pa rin ako kay Tugs. Uh, I think it's gonna be good for today si Tugs. ATN is already been earning. Uh, basically, this is how my port looks like. Um, si CLI, uh, si CPG, um, ISM, we're just waiting for ISM naman talaga. That's for long term. Alright, so, um, congratulations sa mga may PHA. Alright, karaoke ni Kino, Sir Lloyd, ilang? Uh, ilang years na po kayong stock market at ilang years na kayo nagte-trade Sir Lloyd? It's been a while. I haven't counted the years really. So, ayan, uh, actually uh, hindi lang sa stock market ako. Hindi, hindi ako sa stock market nang simula. It was with Bitcoin, right? So, sa Bitcoin na nagsimula ang trading and then yung mga kita doon, um linagay natin sa stocks and then I found out that stocks uh I'm doing well in stocks uh, after that. So, I let go of Bitcoin and nag-stocks na ako, na concentrate ako sa stocks hindi ko nasakyan ang Bitcoin boom kasi nasa stock market ako. But anyways, it's still okay, right? Wilmera Canete, good morning, Sir Lloyd and everyone in Dubai. Insights po from P for PIP. Thanks po. Let's check out PIP. Actually, gumalaw na, si P gumalaw na naman sa bounce, uh, sa support si PIP. Eh. So, ayan. Um, tawag niyan. Um, nga pala, sa Dubai. Nga, guys, um, sa mga nasa Dubai po, right? I'll be there on February 15th. Right? Uh, Abu Dhabi, February 16. And then, Qatar, uh, February 22. Right? I'll see you there. I'll, uh, we'll talk about your trading. We'll improve your trading greatly. Para naman po matake advantage nyo rin yung, yung, ano, yung, yung bullish market. Yung stock market talaga. Stock market is a very good potential for earning as long as you know what you're doing. Right? Kawawa po yung mga hindi po alam ang ginagawa nila. So, invest in yourselves. Uh, this is gonna be a very good uh, seminar for you. So, take advantage of it. Alright. Abel Balaag. Uh, good morning, sir. Di ako makapasok. Livestream offline daw. Right. Sorry about that kanina. Uh, Zacharias Marco. Good morning, sir. Lloyd. Pakisuyo po ng Ani. BHI, please. Alright. Let's write these down. Ayan. Si Ani. Um, BHI. Uh, may tinuro sa akin si ano eh. Si... Uh, Burnstone 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 TV Gaming How to Make these uh, Requests easier Pero sorry, hindi ko pa natatesting Kasi sobrang busy Vinge Good morning sir Pa shout out naman po Kay Investorgrams For bringing the market depth And more 
for free. Ayan, good job. Um, thank you so much, Invest Investagrams, for helping us. All right, traders, this is the reality of trading naman talaga kasi. Sadly, sadly, I've been talking to other brokers about this. Why don't they make their chartings uh, much, much more uh, complex? Uh, tulad ni Investagrams, di ba? Um, tulad ni Chupetot dati, tulad ni PSC Tools, di ba? So, sadly, ayan, si Investagrams naka, nakatugon niyan. Alright, um, ganda sana ng ano eh, ng, ng, ng what they call this, uh, PSC Tools dati. If I find one, alright, someone is contacting me, um, sabi nila, Sir Lloyd, baka ma matulungan natin ang, uh, ang, ano, ang, what they call this, PSC Tools. So, if that happens, babalik si PSC Tools, it will greatly help us. I'll let you know, right? Um, Vinch, good morning, sir. Pa shout out naman po yan. Investagrams. Thank you so much, Investagrams. Ops, good morning, sir Lloyd. Mukhang down si PSI dahil sa world market chart request po. Sana SSI, IRC, MPIS. Puro pula ang world market ngayon. Um, nga pala, uh, I let go. Sinara ko po si Google na position ko sa, um, sa what they call this, sa Investagrams. Uh, I sold it out yesterday. Ang kanina lang. Uh, last night, right? Google. Right, tin uh, tinanggal ko si Google. Uh, I sold it out. Na um, neg negative 2.53. But before that, na benta ko bago bumagsak talaga. So we're still close at um we still close at gain. Kasi kasi uh, merong bad news kay Google. Kaya pinakawalan ko lang muna. Um, let's see if um it will uh, mag mag stabilize after that. Google was fined around 53 million dollars. Was it dollars or euros? Sa ng France kasi. Uh, for breach uh, yun tawag nila privacy breach eh, diba? so yun um, let go of google naghahanap ako ng bagong position the next position I'm looking at is oil right so mga uh, yan si oil um, little little something about eToro there are sponsors we want to thank them um, we're, we've been gaining dahil, dahil kay eToro also I'm just waiting for oil to do a breakout um bumaba si oil ang ganda ng support resistance ng or uh, ni oil hindi ko nasakyan yung support niya but this is the most basic technical analysis guys support right support is right there dapat pinasok natin yan and then here it is yung tinuro-turo ko sa inyo lagi um this is abi kasi inyo applicable ito sa international market we have uh, pababa yung support but RSI was already going up so there, there's divergence here this is a very good bottom engulfing pattern and there's the bounce and this should have been our entry and kumita sana tayo kay oil but right now the trend is still starting so I'm just waiting for oil to do a breakout or if ever mag pullback siya malakas I will we'll enter it so this will, this will be my next entry si oil so check out eToro at eToro.com pwede po kayo mag trade na international markets Right, mas mag napakaganda na opportunity doon very liquid na mga pwede nyo pasukin right so um, ayun that was eToro you can copy trade me if you want to um, or you can copy other traders marami pong mga galing na traders dyan out there so SSI RSC MPI yan na request ni uh, Jomar yeah, that's already written Dong J good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika pasilip po ng IMI bounce at MA20 uy si IMI hindi ko napansin na at Wilcon thanks from sec family Ayan, good morning sa inyo sec family alright IMI and Wilcon uh, let's check it out and hindi ko pinansin si IMI kasi ang taas na ni IMI alright uh, we recommended IMI doon sa bottom uh, not checking it out anymore kasi medyo mataas na kasi ang daming mga magaganda na nasa bottom pa so doon tayo as much as possible wag yung mga naglilipara na um well but still we'll check it out right Michael Lerman that one of the reason why I'm not recommending food right now si food is on its good uptrend right napakaganda ng uptrend of food uh, let's check this out yan yan yung uptrend ni food eh di ba ang ganda ng uptrend ni food it's on its uptrend line right here but Ang problema ko kay food is malapit na tayo sa resistance eh. So, I really, 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 really don't like these kinds of position anymore. Um, marami pong nasa baba pa, especially for trading. If you're into investing, this is good. This is a good entry point. I don't like this because andito na tayo sa higher levels niya. So, I don't really like to trade it. Um, Nag-collapse sa MA20 niya. So, medyo shaky siya for me. Right? So, that's why I'm not recommending food anymore. Right? Food, dito, nirecommend natin yan. And then, in the support, uh, right now, medyo shaky na si food for me. Medyo mataas na. So, that's why I'm not recommending it. Pwede nyo naman pasukin. I could be wrong na pwede pang mag all-time high yan si food. But, ayan, ang ganda ng numbers ni food eh. Di ba? 5-5-6% um, ang 
uh, third quarter. So, it, it might go up still. Um, it's just that, mataas na siya para sa akin. So, as much as possible, I really like to enter those who are still at the bottom. Um, Mika Lerman, any thoughts on Picor po? Picor is still okay. I'll write this down. Kamustahin natin si Picor. Um, asa na yan? Um, Picor, recommending f- Um, asa na yan? Uh, Picor, Marlo, Baroro, ngayon, maayong buntag, Sir Lloyd, Palihog, LTG po. Alright, let's check out LTG also. Let's write down LTG. L- LTG. Alright, LTG naman. Then, Roland, Hamela, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Paano po malalaman kung mahal na ang stock sa price niya? You can check out, um, fair value research ng isang Uh, ng mga brokerage, right? Si, si Call Financial, let's open up Call Financial. All you need to do uh, is go to here, um, home, and then go to uh, research. Hindi sa home. Diretso to research, and then you can go to fundamentals, and then investment guide. Right? This is one way to check out uh, the if mura pa sila. Tingnan nyo po yung fair value research ni Call. For example, um, uh, si, sino ba maganda? Uh, si Sec B, mura pa si Sec B. Eh. 205 ang fair value niya. Its current price is 179. So, it's still very cheap compared to its fair value right here. Ito yung nakikita niyo, 205. Current price is 179. Kaya po, ang rating ni Cole is buy pa yan kasi napakamura pa sa fair value niya. This is one way of knowing if the prices of the stock is good. Right? Um, meron din si na... Um, uh, two trade Asia. Right, let me open my two trade Asia. All right, so this is two trade Asia Prime. You can go to uh, asan ba yon? Stock, and then no, 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 research. Yeah, so example si Ali. All right, um, target price natin kay Ali and dito sixty. Pro- <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, sixty point thirty six ang high niya. We are still at um, we're still at forty four point seventy ang price niya. So still very cheap. Average average target price natin is around fifty one point seventy eight. So napakamura pa po ni Ali. Still a buy. All right, buy rating. So we are uh we are uh we're looking at fifty one. Yung to yung parang fair value niya, the average na consensus. Hindi lang to from two trade Asian research, but this is um. kinuha nila sa lahat ng mga research teams, the facilities nila. Right. So, um this is one way to find out. Kasi nga lang hindi kumpleto ang mga stocks na ito. For example, ito si ABBA. Uh, walang average, walang walang research for ABBA. So, you can't really tell all on on all stocks. So, minsan um ang titignan mo is book value na lang. You oh, that's the, that's the best you can you can check out. Um but overall price action um tinitingnan ko is if ever walang research talaga wala tayong ano wala tayong uh, wala tayong fair value research i just look at the previous highs kasi these are areas are usually the prices where the consensus of all the traders think that it's already expensive kasi usually dito na nagse-sell out so i that's what i well, that's what i look at if ever wala man wala mang fair value research for example si let's say sino bang maganda let's say tech yan isa din sa mga research ko today so si tech this is the area where i think tech is expensive kung walang fair value research si tech um tech ha, uh, so umabot ng presyo ng ganyan si tech so people think that it's just, this is still this price is still okay for tech and basically we are at a price where it's okay so price action wise i can say that the consensus of the market is that tech is cheap because no one is selling off at this area anymore i'm recommending tech by the way today kasi napaka solid na ng support ni tech and we're already seeing rsi starting to go up right so that's that's one way of knowing if the the price is i know um uh, is is uh is still cheap or expensive check out the price action at least makikita mo yung consensus ng market when at what price the market thinks the the price is expensive or not right so i'll just remove this right kasi wala tayong access sa research sa lahat talaga eh. uh, especially blue chips lang usually ang may research 
So you look at the price action uh, of the market to know if people are considering it cheap. Right. Pag mura na yan, hindi na magbebenta mga tao actually. Ba't ko ibebenta ng mura ang stocks ko? That's that's the concept behind it. Three different ways. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Congrats sa mga PHA holders. Kahapon, B Corp, please. Yeah. Congratulations sa mga PHA. We talked about PHA last October, la, end of October, November pa. Right? So, it uh, November, December, January. It was three months of waiting. Right? Three months of waiting for PHA. Luck favors those who are prepared. So, andun tayo kay PHA. I was just holding on to my PHA. Sabi ko sa inyo na um, just keep buying more on the dips. Hindi lang ako nag-buy more if you can see my port. Uh, hindi ako nag-buy more. Bakit? Kasi ang pera ko, linagay ko kay ISM. <laughs> so, wala na ako pang uh, wala, linagay ko kay ISM majority of my money. Basically, this is how my real port looks like. Um, linagay ko lahat kay ISM ang pera ko. Uh, so, wala na akong pang average down kay PHA. But still, we were able to win kay PHA. Kay OR, hindi ako nakapag average down. OR is already rallying up. I was planning to average down on OR. But ISM, pumutok yung news kay ISM. So, I changed my plans. <laughs> hindi, ko na, hindi, ko na, nag, hindi na ako nag average down kay OR. Linagay ko na lang kay ISM. So, OR right now, uh, still very good. I kept telling you, just keep buying on the dips. And there it is, the bottom. Uh, the bottoming of ore and then nagre-recover na siya so most probably nag-gain na yung mga nag-average down kay ore so congratulations pa rin PHA congratulations sa mga pumasok kay PHA sumunod sa recommendation ko na keep buying on the dips and you would uh, meron akong isang uh, follower na nag-average down 80, 80% ang gain niya as of yesterday kay PHA right so ang laki ng gains niya because of the ceiling of PHA um, if come 9 o'clock can you Please give me, uh, let's see. Uh, tingnan nga natin dito ang projected price. Na, anyways, na-open ko na yung 2-trade, uh, ano ko eh, 2-trade uh, Asia Prime ko. Abangan po natin si, uh, si PHA sa opening niya, right? Uh, so, lagyan natin, dito man yan makikita uh, sa stock. Right, si PHA, makikita natin yan mamaya ang projected opening niya, right? So dito sa dito itong area na ito dito lalabas yung opening price ni PHA. Hopefully, hopefully uh, magsiling na naman para pera na naman. <laughs> so anyways, and congratulations uh, sa mga may PHA. Um maayong buntag uh, Sir Lloyd inside spot sana kay PIP Invita. Dagan salamat, maayong buntag. Um PIP Invita. I'll write this down. All right, si Vita hindi pa natin nakakamusta. All right, si Vita. Sulat natin 'yan. And last, last yun si VD. Right. Um, Weng Salde, sir, will you advise to sell na po ba URC and ABS? Yun, ang ganda. URC. Yeah. Good morning, Weng. Congratulations sa uh, win mo. Right. Weng is my student. Um, dun sa Bacolod. Magandang ang mga ganyan sa inyo sa Bacolod. URC has already been winning. We did recommend URC here. With form a good support, why not enter it? Diba? It's a good company. And then there it is. Um, URC, I would say, let's wait for a red candlestick pag may red dyan you can sell half wing okay and then si ABS ABS naman wala pa wala, we're not still not seeing any weakness right now of the momentum congratulations ABS sabi ko sa inyo dito on, on this day na sabi ko it's panahon yata ni ABS si Bien si Lopez ABS si Bien sinabay ko yan dalawang yan and ABSP yung tatlong yan sinabay ko so ABS kahit sino lang pinili nyo, nyo doon si Lopez ABSP ABSP, panalo na. Right, si ABSP lang, ma medyo matagal gumala. Kahapon po mula nag-take profits kagad. But still, it's a win. Um, ABS, uh, we're not seeing any weakness yet, Weng. So, if ever may makita ka na mag-close na ito inside the Bollinger Band, that is a good time to sell half. Right, so antayin lang natin, Weng, na mag-close siya inside the, ano, inside the Bollinger Band. For that will be our signal to sell half. Abner Respicio, good morning, Sir Coach Lloyd and Mam Ma Laika, and to fellow daily grinders, Coach Insights naman on Ani B H I D M C I M I I S and M R C. I'll write these down. All right. So I think may oras naman tayo since hindi tayo mga pagdiscuss ng cup and handle today. Um, Vince, pasuyo po kay pizza. All right, pizza. We did recommend pizza yesterday. So kamustahin natin P I P I S M Vol and A T N. I'll write this down. Right, so hopefully may oras tayo mandaanan natin yan ha. Um, morning sir, STI and web po from Ralph JVR. Let's check this out. Uh, huh? 
Right, so guys, let me know if alas 9 na ha para makita natin ang opening ng PHA. Ray Irisari, good morning Sir Lloyd and to my wife Rose Jean. Good morning sa inyo, Jan. Right, yes, audio is good, Ambo Books. Uh, have a blessed morning to you and your family, Sir Lloyd from Irene. Thank you so much. FLI and ATN, Sir Lloyd. Thanks from Average Joe. Si FLI, okay naman si FLI na eh, di ba? Gumagalaw na si FLI. I think nag-pullback lang after a very strong move si FLI. Hindi ko napansin sa gainers eh, yeah. So, two days of strong move. We are always expecting this pullback right here. So, this is to be expected, yung pullback na yan. So, let's just wait for FLI to bounce before we wanna get in. Noel back. Good morning, sir. Inside po ni SSI. Let's check out SSI. Kamustayin natin si SSI. Nareko ko yan noon eh. Some, somehow, SSI support failed. Ay, hindi pala. Hindi nang support fail. Umakit siya dalawang beses and then nag-retrace ka agad. So, hopefully, mag-bounce ulit. But this is good because this is giving you an opportunity to buy again. Nagbo-Bollinger Band trigger na yan sa taas. So, that should be a signal sa inyo na most probably tataas na yan. Usually, pag nagtitrigger na yan sa taas, those are signals na there's a possibility na umakit na yan siya. And then there it is. So, nagsisignal siya sa taas. Aso nga lang, we hit the resistance. So, let's just wait for it to bounce. Pag nagbounce bounce sa support, that will be our entry point again for SSI. SSI is a good company to get into. Antayin lang natin. Right? Um, so, Noel. Uh, Mark Lester, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Pakibati naman po wife ko, si M. Scardose. Mark Lester is my, um, is my uh, student. Uh, good morning sa inyo and to your wife. And Sir, mamalihog ko, sab ko, FNI and PIP. Alright, let's write these down. FNI. Alright, kamustahin nga natin si FNI una. Alright, FNI. Kasi nag-downtrend yun, bumagsak yun eh. Alright, so good price action for FNI. Right, I don't really see any reason bakit nag sell off on foreign baka na inip lang and they find they found a good opportunity on other stocks. That's usually what the case is. If ever I'm a foreign investor and I'm seeing that my stock my my money is not wor working here, I'd let go of it if I see a good opportunity on a different stock. So most probably that's what happened kay bumagsak ito. No really reason why I can see na Bakit bumagsak si FNI? So, hopefully, we'll see it stabilize. Alright, anyways, this bottom is still much, much healthier compared to this one. We're still seeing the divergence right there. So, anytime soon, baka luma, uh, lumipad yan si FNI. Let's just wait for it to stabilize for now. Usually, kasi nag ng bad taste yan sa mga investors. Natatakot pa. Alright, so, Honeyleth, De Los Santos Expo. Alright, this down. Nga pala, guys, February 2. Um, less than... 20 seats lang available. So, please, um, mag-register na po kayo habang maaga pa. May mga na-register na, na hindi pa nagpipay. Right, guys, uh, I hope maka-reserve uh, maka na kaagad kayo. Baka maunahan kayo ng iba. Less than 20 seats lang ang natitira. For February 2, we only have 100 seats available kasi. So, less than 20 seats na lang. Dalian nyo po the other uh, the seminars only one five napakamura po niyan courtesy of eToro so we want to thank eToro for making this event possible and wing and right time to buy more na ba kay AC it's AC uh, from wing it's AC kasi um somehow it's forming a support again just wait for it to bounce wing okay um yeah wait for it to bounce and then if it bounces then we'll enter once it bounces right nagka takutan lang kasi no nag, nag nagpakawala ng maraming stocks yung 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 isang major investor nila eh. so wen Jose Tamandong good morning sir Lloyd Aba and ABG sir right si Aba hindi ko na i-recommend si Aba kasi for me Aba has already grown so much ang hinihintay na lang ng mga tao diyan is ta ang tawag diyan um dividends na lang right so i don't want you to play for dividends unless na marami po kayong hawak Uh, magkakabusan yan after dividends most probably so uh, I already exited ama nag-iipon na ako ng pera for ISM so hindi pa ako gumagalaw ngayon Brianna Banana 17 Fun Videos PLC and PHR please ang cute ng name ng ano channel mo ah. right Brianna Banana right PLC and PHR right these are good companies let's check these out Alright, so CM Jaime, WPI and STI. WPI and STI. Um, dang dang. Hi, Sir Lloyd. Buy na po ba si BDO? Yes, I'm recommending BDO for today. Um, it's at 131 pesos. Uh, some, why am I recommending BDO for today? Even if the research of Call Financial is saying na 
medyo mataas na yan. Let's go to research and then investment guide. Yan. So, sabi ni, ano, uh, sabi ni uh, Call Financial, uh, hold na lang siya. Right? So, 110 ang presyo niya. Is this right? 110 yung call fair value niya yon 127 yung nga pala. 127. So, 132 siya. Nakahold siya. Hindi pa rin sinesell because of the technicals of BDO showing us na still looking good. Right? Um, it's playing at the upside. Volume is still there. So, ayun, um, this is a good support. Just in case pwede gusto nyo i-trade ito, there's good price action kasi kay BDO. It's starting to trigger the Bollinger Bands, starting to play above MA20. So, technical analysis, it's bullish. So, pwede nyo po gamitin ang MA20 as your support. I'm saying BDO is good buy pa rin, technical analysis-wise. Medyo may kamahalan siya regarding fair value but pwede, ang layo pa na pwede abutin ni BDO. Mabot na siya ng 160 nga eh, di ba? 170, almost 170. Right? So... BDO still okay for me, right? So, next up kay BDO is um, Ray Lavarias. Good morning, sir. Seb, ISM, SSI, MPI, food. Thank you. Right, nasulat na natin yung lahat. Ella Montifalco, good morning. Refalsola Tidoremi. Right, pa shout out to me. Right, PIP, IRC, and Ani. Right, PIP is there. IRC is there. IRC is, did I recommend IRC today? Yes, three white soldiers, IRC. Si Ani. Um, let's talk about Annie in a bit. Alright, so, Mabel, San Jose. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Thank you po sa lahat. More power. Happy to help. This, uh, yeah, wrong date ang nasa YouTube ko because um, I had to restart it. And thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, the Destroyer. And Marlo Aquino. Um, pinsan ni Carlo Aquino. <laughs> Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Sir, okay lang po ba magbodega kay CPG? What price po ideal? Thanks yan. CPG, yes it is. Still okay. Napakamura pa rin ni CPG overall. Ang ganda, po ng, um, ang ganda po ng development ni CPG. I told you guys, CPG will be the recovery of the century. If ever, Dennis Uy will, ev will be able to, uh, to look at that. Look at the chart. Right? If ever, Dennis Uy will be able to help them properly sa Clark Pampanga project, CPG will be the biggest recovery from four from almost 5 pesos pinakamataas niya, di ba? So, now we're still at 45 cents. So, as I've mentioned to you guys, uh, uh, ayaw mag-zoom in na ng presyo ng ano ko. I don't know what happened. Right, so, CPG, keep buying on the dips. It's starting to dip now. So, nagde-dip na siya. So, pwede nyo nang, pwede, pwede kayong mag, start mag-abang dyan. Right, so, CPG. And CPG, starting to dip. MA20, antayin nyo po sa MA20. This is the reason why I love MA20 right here. Ayan, kung saan siya nagbabounce, MA20, MA20. After bouncing sa MA20, lumipad na. So, hopefully nakapasok kayo noon. But CPG is gonna be on a strong uptrend with now that Dennis Uy is partnering up with them. Mm. So, yan. As much as possible, get in near MA20. Gilbert Tan, good morning, Sir Lloyd. If may time po, pakidiscuss na po yung dividend investment. Sana mapasyal kayo dito sa Macau. Hopefully soon, this year, right? Um, yan po yung target natin this year. Um, medyo mahirap lang talaga mag... Ang gastos, eh. <laughs> ang gastos, ang gastos. Uh, I just realized, this is my first time going to Dubai and we, when we process for the tickets, alright, 100,000, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so yon medyo mahal pala magpa-seminar sa abroad and then I really want my, my seminars to be cheap as much as possible. So, nag i po ako ng mga sponsors. Ayan. If you want to keep helping the channel, by the way, kung gusto niyo po ang mga contents ko, if it's helping you, if you're gaining because of this, uh, if you want to support me in return kasi gusto niyo magpatuloy ito, please click on the super chat button. And meron po tayong super chat dyan sa, um, uh, sa chat room natin, right? sa tabi ng smiley. Right, may dollar sign po dyan. Right, if you want to support the channel, please click on that and any amount will be greatly appreciated. Right, Jeric Camarines, Maxes po, Sir Lloyd. And so, um, Gilbert, I'll write this down at a request mo. Discuss naman yung dividend investment. We'll talk about that. It's a completely different uh, investment strategy kasi. So, I want to talk about that in a separate video. At least meron na tayong um, topic in the future. Right, abangan nyo po yan. Jeric Camarines, Maxes po, Sir Lloyd. I'll write this down. 
wait, it's 8.57, it's already 8.57, at 9 o'clock, tingnan po natin opening ni PHA, then after that, we are going to be talking about my recommendations. Already, the destroyer, 122 po nakalagay, 123 po dapat, yep, I already updated it, sorry about that. Jomer Regadillo, yung IMI po sir, thanks, well, we'll check it out po, shout out po kami ng friend ko si Net Net. Eh, net net good morning thanks po and dang dang net net and dang dang kit na <laughs> right so good morning sa inyo dyan une 6-2 une 6-2 um now peace and vulcan now and vulcan right so hopefully madaanan natin now and vulcan uh, good morning sir how about mbt uh, let's check out mbt also mbt Right. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. From this is this that was from Drody, uh, tenth zero three. Sino Sinoda Etnirual Laurente Adonis and Adonis Laurente. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Uh, Rodrigo Carlos. Good morning, Rodrigo is one of my students. Uh, uh, Edgardo Ricalde Picor po possible puba. Right. Um, Picor yes. Picor is definitely looking good. And Picor, Picor, Picor. And Picor is still holding that support. And ito po guys, this is what you need to note. Look at that volume at that support. Right, so I want you to prepare your screenshot sa mga wala pang kopya nito, sa mga bago pa lang dito ngayon. Please subscribe to my channel. By the way, pag nag-subscribe kayo, at least you're gonna be seeing all the updates that is happening to the channel. Prepare nyo po yung screenshot ninyo. Uh, this is called the price and volume relationship. Right, I'm going to give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, screenshot yun na dapat yan. Um, price volume relationship. Right, if there's no change in price but the volume is increasing, that's bullish. That's sign of accumulation. Uh, I'll go to the chart. The prices here is constant. We are at support. It's not. It's not moving, basically. It's still at support, but the volume is already picking up, right? Look at that constant volume right there. That means people are already accumulating PCOR. That should be a good sign for you to get in. Pasokin nyo na po yan, right? Pasokin nyo na po yan kasi nag-accumulate na mga tao. Dapat isas kayo sa mga nag-accumulate dyan. Hindi yung aakit na dun pa kayo maghahabol. Please don't do that, right? Especially if you're a position trader, right? So, yun. Um, PCOR is still doing well actually so it's nine o'clock let's see if meron ng update sa opening ni to trade asia premier horizon um 26 million at the opening uh ang open niya uh no 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 right so ang ceiling niya and is 0.66 why is it 0.66? I don't know. Bakit? Anong nangyari dito? But I think it's gonna be ceiling again. 0.90. Asan ba? Ito, projected price niya is 0.90. Ceiling na naman. Two ceilings. Wow. Thank you so much, Luger. Thank you so much for the uh for the help. Alright. Um, for the donation. Luger, thank you so much. Guys, congratulations. PHA is gonna be doing another ceiling for today. 114 bids at 0.90. Gustong pumasok na ng mga tao. Kagad. So, congratulations po sa mga um, may PHA. Two ceilings in a row. At least, nakatikim na po kayo ng ceiling sa mga sa mga gustong pumasok. I know, marami pong maingit dito. Um, if you plan to get in this stock as a trader, ang strategy lang po na gagamitin ninyo dito is if you want to be an investor, pwede kayong pumasok dyan kaagad. Right, 42 million bids, right? 42 million bids. That's a lot, right? So, um, kung gusto niyo pumasok dito, make sure, and make sure na, um, you are an investor, right? Kasi pag magsak yan, you have plans to average down. If wala kayong plano mag-average down, wag na kayong pumasok dyan, right? If ayon yung maging investor. Secondly, if you want to trade this, make sure you are a Day trader, you're a momentum trader. Alam nyo paano mag-trade ng momentum. Mapapanood nyo market ng full time. This is gonna be a curse if ever mag-trade kayo dito. Right? Ubus ka agad ang stocks. Alright? So, walang gusto magbenta. 
demand is very high. So, PHA, guys, ang laki ng spike na 15 billion. Congratulations po. Congratulations si PHA. The projected price is 0.90. May mga gusto na magbenta, pero ang konti lang ng binibenta, 1.7, compared to the demand right now. 44 million ang demand kay PHA. This is still not enough. Magsisiling pa ito ng magsisiling. 15 billion is a huge spike for PHA's um for PHA's overall value 15 billion and dami pong pwedeng gawin ng kumpanyang yan with 15 billion pesos that's why you are seeing this spike congratulations po sa mga pumasok again right so share niyo naman ang blessings sa financial freedom 101 para matulungan niyo po ang channel right thank you so much right um again si Luger 11 thank you so much for the donation uh, that's that's going to be a very big help for for, for the channel Alright, so yon. Um, we now checked the volume of um, P, I mean PHA, the opening of PHA. So congratulations. This is the projected price, 0.90. By the way, this is Two Trade Asia Prime's platform. Very helpful, po. I already created a video about this. This is how you can see the projected price using PHA. And then meron do dito ang stats. Um, top gainers, worst losers, wala pa. Top trade analytics, ni pa maglo-load yan kasi wala pang ano eh. Um, wala pang Wala pang nangyayaring trades. So, you just go to here, stocks. Projected is 90. 48 million. Still increasing uh, demand. So, good congratulations. Uh, let's now go to my recommendations for today. Right. Unang recommendation ko for today is Tugs. Right. Si Tugs, very good company. Showing us a good support right here. So, Tugs guys, kakabounce lang. This is a good opportunity for Tugs. Napakamura pa ni Tugs overall. Right? This is uh, ang dami, uh, dami pong ginagawa ni Tugs ngayon. And they're starting to go into energy sector, by the way. Just a heads up. Right? So that's gonna be very good for Tugs. Right? So, <clears throat> right, so good. congratulations. 0.90 for PHA. Um, next up sa Tugs is... Ayan. So, huwag niyo po sasayangin yung position na yan. Mag-test buy na kayo dyan. Test buy, and then if it goes on an uptrend, you just buy more. Right? Para po wag malaki ang talo ninyo. If ever matalo man yan. Because a support is never a guarantee. Right? Si Tech naman. Right guys, you're just seeing good resistance right here. Um, but this is good accumulation volume for Tech. Overall, ang ganda ng mga numbers ni Tech na, na, ni tech na pinapakita. Third quarter, 207%. Second quarter, 86%. First quarter, 14% gains. Annual earnings, medyo negative sila sa annual nila. But uh, this year, um, tech has been giving us good numbers. So this is good for tech. Alright, so tech is in my recommendations for today. Hindi ko sure kung aakyat yan or hindi. But I am basing it on the support and the numbers that it's giving me. And price action wise, I wala nang gusto magbenta. So tech is good for me. Right, BDO. Right, we discussed about BDO already. It's on my recommendation for today. See si IRC guys, three white soldiers. That's a good sign. Na um, that's an engulfing pattern. By the way, this is my favorite technical analysis. Right, um, isa sa mga paborito ko. Red Bollinger Band trigger. Um, that is negated by this engulfing pattern after three candlestick. It's it closed above the red one that did the trigger. So I guess this is gonna be stabilizing anytime soon. So that means that this support is holding. IRC is still good to buy. Kaya po wag kayo magbebenta kaagad. Right. So naman yung nagbenta. Next up is Bloom. Right. Bloom has very good uh, projections sa mga project nila um still good right si bloom right ma20 we have an ma20 bounce here kay, kay bloom pwede nyo po itest yan if you want to overall napakamura pa ni bloom considering the heights that it has reached right so bloom um after hitting this resistance nahirapan siya so this is a bounce it might test the resistance again Hopefully, it breaks out. At least, dito kayo sa baba. It's either here, you enter here, or you want to wait for a breakout. Those are the two entry points that you that you want to get into. Right? Um, and then, use the MA20 as your support. If it uh, if it loses, uh, if it loses and goes below MA20, then you just cut your losses for Bloom. Overall, napakaganda pa rin ni Bloom. Ang ganda ng project ni Bloom, actually. I received a business proposal. I mean, the business plan of Bloom. Yeah, Bloom is good. ISM, guys, nag-bounce na naman si ISM. So, it's still, this is the dip you're waiting for. Sa mga gusto mag-enter ni ISM, this is a good entry point. This is a en good entry to test buy. Huwag po mag-all in, right? Just test buy. 
come just uh, this, uh, January 31, let's see what happens. And then, after that, if ever, yeah, these are the what-ifs in trading, if ever bumaba man, kasi hindi kayo nag-all-in, you still have money to buy. I don't think it's gonna go down, but just in case, it will. Hindi naman tayo manghuhula. Just in case, it will. You still have money to average down. At least man rin, kung what if it goes up, hindi kayo maiinggit. Kasi nakatest buy na kayo, right? If it goes up, makes a higher low, then bounces, this will be our next entry point for ISM. Bakit ko nire-recommend? I strongly recommend ISM. Udena's projects are very, very good. Um, dami pong expansion ni Udena ngayon. These are very good expansions if you want to check out the business uh, the business plan of Udena. And then, telco, third telco. Need I need I I don't think I need to explain that further how big the third telco will be. Right? And then natatakot ni yung iba, hindi natakot yung mga newbies. Ay, hey, third telco matagal pa mag matagal pa naman mag ano yan, matagal pa mag materialize. Yes, matagal pa, 'di ba? Totoo naman, matagal pa mag materialize. It can take them around 2 to 3 years before they can really saturate the 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 major cities. But when do you want to invest in them? After 3 years pa, kung mataas na yan dapat dito ngayon habang mababa pa um, kasi daw wala pang fundamentals hindi pa naman natin nakikita na maganda ang performance nila what if maganda ang performance nila hindi ka nakapasok o makyat number 2 guys ano ba itatakot nyo sino ba ang kasama ni ISM si Ms. Latel sa, uh, sa ano niya newbie ba no, magbaguhan ba na telco hindi po China Tel one of the best telcos out there so I don't think they're gonna fail right and I think yes I believe they can provide cheaper internet which is at a low cost for them so mas lugi si la PLDT kasi hindi nila kayo magbaba ng ganun ng presyo but China can do that so that's very advantageous one of the reason why um why PLDT bought Sun Cellular dati kasi tinatalo sila kaya ni Sun Cellular na magpababa ng presyo sila hindi nila kaya e binili na lang nila right so here this is gonna be disruptive for the two Telcos, China Tel, right? The brand alone will tell you, the fundamentals of the brand alone will tell you that it's gonna be a good telco, right? So, ISM, uh, mag-ipun na po kayo. One of the recommendations ko today is BPI. It's a BPI starting to um, form a good support, right? After this engulfing pattern, ito yung sinasabi ko, pag nag-engulfing, it will stabilize. Here's the stabilization. We are... Good to go. That's a consolidation area. The consolidation has good volume. That means that people are still accumulating BPI. So, marami pa rin nag-iipon ng BPI. It's still good to get into. At least may support na tayong clear. Much more clearer this time. Recommended BPI here. Umakit na. And this is another entry point for BPI. So, BPI. Good to get into. Ito isa guys, bago sa mga irereko ko. I think, I, uh, I think Perk has already bottomed out. Right? I was waiting for this action right here. Meron tayong pataas and then we have a bounce right there so yeah i think perk has already bottomed out why nuturo ko pa sa inyo lagi divergence right after that divergence i was just waiting for perk to stabilize and then there's that stabilization point we're seeing a higher low already for perk so yun um this is a good entry point uh, uh, pasukin niyo po yan si perk diyan this might be very good Right? And Perk has been giving us good numbers naman eh. Um, Perk, third quarter earnings 263%. Second quarter earnings 14.83%. Third, uh, first quarter earnings negative 26. Yan, first quarter nga lang medyo negative siya. But annual income niya last year is positive 44. Those are very significant numbers. So, yeah. Habang maaga, papasukin niyo po si Perk. This is gonna be very good. Right? So, Perk. Perk delicious dip. Right? This is good. Right? I'm going to be recommending Perk. Haven't been recommend. Hindi ko po, po, po nire-recommend yun si Perk noon because haven't seen it bottoming out yet. And then this is the bottom of Perk most probably. So, pwede na pasukin yan. Alright. So, mga naipit sa Perk, you can always average down if you want to. Alright. So, those are my recommendations for today. Um, Let me see if may mga comments na mga, uh, mga tao. Alright. Uh, I remember Sir Lloyd is betting on PTNT and MIC. Uh, is betting on PTT and MRC before. Tama. <laughs> right? um, yeah, uh, PTNT was my bet before. Right? Kaso nga lang. Uh, this is the nature of the business. Si Dennis, uy, biglang pumasok eh. If, in, if ever, uh, if ever hindi pumasok si Udena, I, was, I didn't know Udena was gonna get in before. I didn't know they're gonna be uh, 
getting in with China Tel. So tahimik lang si Udena, right? Um, my my bet before using PTNT was on the facts that we are getting. Ito si Dennis Uy, tahimik eh, di ba? Um, sabi yung mga nila, eh, um, nag, nag-announce pa sila kay CLC na hindi daw papasok sa third telco. Tapos bigla na lang pumasok. So, we're just basing out on, it on the facts. Right, PHA holders, congratulate ka, kainggit. Grabe yung PHA, Sir Lord, yan. Um, sir, hindi ba tayo magkakabili kinabukasan kung magsiling? Ang hirap, right? Um, I have, ayan, I have a video about how to get in ceiling stocks, right? Uh, YouTube. Ayan. Ayan. Mumudmud, mumudmud ko to ngayon sa mga haters ko. How to get in. Just search sa YouTube and then go to how to get in ceiling stocks. Right. So, lalabas ako dyan. How to catch ceiling stocks. This is one of my video. If it were easy. Right. And I got so many bash here, blah, blah, blah. Napaka-risk nito kasi dami porke nag-sealing price on previous day. Yes, it is. Um, eh, ang dami kong bashers dito on this video. This is only applicable if you really wanna get in sealing stocks. There are opportunities out there na magsisiling at magsisiling. For example, si ISM noon. Right, uh, si Now noon. Nag-sealing ng sealing si ECP. This is applicable to that. Hindi ko naman sinasabi na pasukin nyo lahat ito. I just made this for the third telco. For opportunities like this, you don't know along the way, right? Along the way, a stock might get boosted up suddenly. May napakagandang news that it it will multiply their value. And this is what's happening to um, PHA, right? Someone uh, someone put 15 billion in them and napakamura ngayon ni PHA. 15 billion is a big spike to their business, right? Fif- lalagyan mo na 15 billion isang negosyo. Uh, napakalaking spike niyan. So, it's gonna spike from here, this point to that point. So, this is gonna spike. And, 15 billion for perk is around 10 pesos pa. <laughs> so, I mean, not perk, not PHA. So, uh, 15 billion is, if you if you add it to their overall value, value, nasa 7 to 10 pesos pa yan. So, napakalayo pa ng spike niyan. So, maghahabulan talaga ang mga tao while mura pa. ba? So, it's applicable depending on the situation, right? Uh, please watch that video if you want to know how to get in this stock. If you still want to get in, pero that's what I told you. If you want to get in, get in as an investor na lang or as a momentum trader if you want to still ride the momentum. But I think this is still gonna be, uh, I think for, for one week ito magsisiling. I can't predict the market movement but this stock is gonna be on an uptrend, I tell you guys. So, grabbing uptrend yan. Um... If I see any weakness, I'm just gonna give you a warning. Mag 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 unload po ako jan. Mag I'm gonna be selling half of my position. So, konting ingat jan. Kasi again, when people are celebrating, that's a sell signal. But depending on the demand, naman talaga. So right now the good demand is good. So I'm gonna be uh, still holding on to it. Pag nawala ni momentum, I'm gonna be selling half. So konting ingat. Babentahan ko po kayo, right? So that's the dilemma about this. You have to decide properly, right? So, ayan, um, let's go to your picks. Um, ATN, guys, um, it's 9.15, so let's go to your um, to your request. Say si ATN, antay nyo po yung breakout before you wanna get in or wait for a pullback as much as possible. We are playing at resistance levels. Delikado maglaro dyan sa resistance levels. IRC, so IRC, we talked about that already. It's some of my recommendation for today. Ito si IS, maganda rin si IS, mga position ni IS. Eh. It broke MA20 nga lang, so I don't wanna recommend IS anymore. Alright, so nakita nyo po yan. Ito yung technical analysis na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Pataas ang presyo, but um, RSI is going down so you know that the stock is gonna go down already and bumagsak na siya. Alright, so yun, bumagsak na siya. It broke MA20 so I think tapos na ang uh, uptrend ni IS so I don't wanna recommend that uh, I don't wanna recommend that stock. Uh, IS, iwas muna. ISM, EW. It's EW naman. Looking good. Kaso nga lang, we have a lower high right here. So, delicado for EW. Um, how do we, how do we, uh, how do we, ano on this? Right? Ito yun eh. Ito yung pababa eh. So, konti ingat muna. I think EW is gonna go sideways for the meantime. Before it wants to go up. So, antayin lang natin si EW mag-stabilize. I don't wanna get in these stocks na naglalaro sa resistances. I don't wanna bet on them at all. 
So, antayin ko yan mag-stabilize doon sa baba. If ever, um, lumipad man yan, I don't care kasi it's a missed opportunity. Ang dami pa namang opportunities. Pinapakita ko sa inyo lagi may opportunities to get in every day sa daily grind. Right? Iba-iba yung mga recommendations ko. You will find um, stocks to get into every day. So, wag po kayong maiingit dyan. Right? So, food naman. So, food yan. We discussed about food. We're already near resistance levels. So, I don't want to recommend food anymore. But overall, I could be wrong. This is an MA20 bounce. So, pwede nyo pong testing in yan if you want to. Um, I'm just being careful with this movement right here. RSI niya pababa na. So, that's why I don't want to recommend food. Um, medyo nasa taas na eh. Dito sa baba, nirecommend natin yan. Nirecommend ulit natin yan dito. And so, uptrend na siya. Pero the tops are medyo mahirap na ang mga tops niya eh. So, don't wanna recommend that anymore. Wag natin pilitin. Uh, let the others play with that na lang. Especially sa mga newbies, dun po kayo sa baba. Pumasok, please, please, please. That's what I've been teaching you every day. I hope you're already gaining because of my lessons. Ayan. So, ayan. Um, for long term ba si PHA? Yes, ang ganda po uh, ng mga projects si PHA. I would say mid for middle term si uh, PHA. Uh, and good morning, Brother Richard here. See you sa webinar this Friday. Ayan. Good morning, bro, uh, Richard. Ayan. Uh, see you this Friday. Nga ba? Speaking of the seminar, webinar this Friday. Guys, if you want to join the seminars that I am providing, it will be very helpful for you. It's going to be a very good investment in you guys. Friday and Saturday, 8 p.m. Right? Send me a message if you want to join that so I can give you the details. So, yung po sasayin yung pera nyo na natatalo kayo lagi. Invest it in your... Uh, in your knowledge right so mga students ko dito shout out if you can recommend the seminar please let them know mag join po kayo ng seminar right um next up is pure gold and si pure gold broke ma20 so konti ingat muna kay pure gold let's wait for it to stabilize muna right uh, very volatile situation as of the moment so don't want to get in there sir can you provide scenario of average yung example bumili na 1000 shares of 15 pesos pero nag dip yung price sa to 3 Pesos, paano discard it to equalize the loss? Right, Lawrence, very good question. Lawrence Reyes, what number one question is, what is the reason why the stock is going down? Is it bad company performance? If ever bad company for performance, what can I put mag-average down? Right, I have a video. Right, very good question. If ever maganda naman ang company, I have a video. Just search for it, how to average down uh without uh, how to average down then search for Lloyd Bazaar right ito yung gamitin nyo how to average down Lloyd Bazaar I didn't cut loss uh, help I uh, how to average down without adding money in stocks right this is a good way to average down without adding money right so please click on this video this is a very good lessons for, lesson for you Lawrence right for your question right so let's go back to the re, uh, to the request uh, just go to that video that will help you in uh, a lot your peer gold win naman si win. Kamustahin natin si win. Uy, si win nagsa-stabilize pala. Making a support right now si win. So, yeah, pag nag-green yan, you can test by uh, si win. Yeah, pwede nyo i-test by si win pag nag-green yan. So, good job for, fi job for finding win. Hindi ko lang siya nahagip ngayon kasi hindi ko, napan um, hindi ko na napansin. I usually wait for a green kasi before I wanna recommend it. Right? PIP, ayan, nag nagkakabounce na ni PIP sa support niya. Let's check out our risk kung pwede pa bang habulin. I don't recommend na maghabul kayo. Right? Medyo mataas na po ang risk. Right? I told you to get in here the support. And there it is, negative 8 na po away from support. That's a missed opportunity. Just wait for it to do a pullback in the future. So, tagal ko na ni-recommend yan si Pip, right? So, wag nyo na po pasukin ngayon. Medyo mataas na. Antayin na lang natin sa susunod na kabanata ng entry point niya. Ani! Ayan si Ani. Ani ni. Um, downtrend pa. So, don't wanna recommend it yet. Baka mag-stabilize mag muna. Don't have to be very aggressive. Downtrend pa eh. So, stay away muna kay Ani. Wala naman kasi forever na uptrend eh. So, yeah. Ani, natapos na ang uptrend ni Ani. BHI. So, we are... Uy, ganda nito. We're, hit, we're nearing support kay BHI. Let's wait for BHI to bounce. Baka mag-bounce ito today. Ayun, ito nga pala. Second quarter earnings. Bakit? Second quarter pa to Wait. Tagal na labas ang earnings nila. <laughs> right? So, laki pala ng negative. So, I don't want to recommend that. Baka bumagsak pa eh, right? Because of the negative earnings. So, stay away from BHI for me. Pero, pag nag-bounce yan, um, technical analysis wise, kung naglalaro kayo just technicals, then you can do that. It's 9.21. So, bilisan ko lang ito. SSI, we talked about SSI already. IRC. Uh, we talked about IRC also. Um, 
MPI. Ito, kamusta natin si MPI? May MPI din ako eh. Alright, so MPI, um, doing a pullback. Let's just wait for MPI to do a bounce before we wanna get in. Overall, MPI is still very cheap. Kamusta nga natin yung fair value ni MPI. So MPI... Again, this is 2Trade Asia's prime platform. Napaganda po ng platform. 4.89 yung projected opening niya. Um, uh, let's go for research, MPI. Ayan. So, target natin is 7.29. Average, right? High price is 9.90. Ngayon, is, is still at 4.93. Napakamura pa po ni MPI. Consensus po is 4.9, almost a buy. Right, almost a buy. Almost a perfect buy. So, Buy po. Buy, 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 buy. Si MPI, napakamura pa po niyan. So, yun po sasayang yung opportunity with MPI. For technical analysis wise, just wait for it to do a bounce before you wanna get in. That will be an MA20 bounce right here. That will be a perfect entry if ever mag-bounce and say MA20 niya. Um, next kay MPI is IMI. Ito si IMI. Maraming nagre-request kay IMI eh. Right, so Ambu Books, uh, join the seminar guys. It will cut your learning curve instead of losing money. And so mga students ko po yan. So join the seminar guys. I tell you, it's gonna be a very good investment sa inyo. Jet B, how can we regulate our trading with all these recommendations? Is it practical to test by a little of everything? How many stocks from your recommendations will you choose if you have 100k? Usually if I have 100k, depende yan eh. My tolerance on a trade for a stock is around 100k. So, so para sa akin yung 100k, isang stock lang yan. If you're a newbie, you can diversify it to maybe two to three stocks and then yan. Yeah, uh, if you diversify it in two stocks, uh, that 50k, you can divide it into three for, to test buy. So marami po. Um, sana, ma, sana po mag-join kayo sa seminar. Uh, that's part of my that's part of my lesson. It's uh, siguro we'll, one of these days we'll talk about that also. Right, so yan. Um, uh, sir, that you help me with EWM, one of your students po. Yan, si Joy Joy, good morning. And thank you. Alright, so yan, it's 9.24, last two na lang po. Um, si IMI, just wait for the bounce. Right, IMI, wait for the bounce. So far, um, it's at a healthy movement naman. This is a good company. Remember, I recommended IMI at this uh, this area right here, MA20 bounce, di ba? Uh, we recommended that there. Um, we also recommended IMI here pala because we saw this tiny divergence right there. And I saw that. And then, yeah, I remember. I remember um, uh, recommending IMI here because of the volume during this time and the divergence right there. So, there it is, IMI. Just for now, uh, move on na tayo dyan. Let's just wait for it to bounce MA20. Pag nag-bounce MA20, then you can use that to trade IMI. But right now, may, nag again, naglalaro na naman sa taas yan. So, I don't wanna really want to look at those stocks at all anymore. Next up kay IMI, last lang si Wilcon. It's 9.25. So, Wilcon still bouncing at MA20. So, this is still good for Wilcon. But somehow, we're seeing lower highs na kasi eh. So, delikado to si Wilcon, guys. Right? We recommended Wilcon at this area right here. Right? So, wala na. Taas na si Wilcon. I don't wanna recommend Wilcon anymore. Medyo mataas na. All-time high yan, guys. Sana all-time high yan. So, all-time high meaning uh, mahal na ang stock. So, I don't wanna recommend that anymore. Um... That's it for today. Pasensya na if wala tayong video. We weren't able to talk about the cup and handle. But I guess it's a, still a very fruitful ano, fruitful uh, discussion with you guys. Um, online seminars po this Friday and Saturday. Please send me a message if you want to join that. 8 p.m. Right? 8 p.m. So please send me a message if you want to, if you want to join that. Um, seminar February 2. Konti lang po seats and available. 1.5 lang po yung seminar na yan. That's sponsored by Ito Rogue. Nyo po sasayan yung opportunity. Um, Dubai, February 15. Uh, Abu Dhabi, February 16. Qatar, February 22. Send me a message if you want to join that. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Eh, tomorrow, we're gonna talk about cup and handle. Yan. Tutuloy natin yan bukas. I'm gonna be troubleshooting what's wrong with my camera today. As always, let's get rich together. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.